Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you. Good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> I'm not 100% at yet, and uh, I had one or two videos that I had done before I got sick, so uh, you'll see that, and I may have a little bit of a rougher throat. But anyway, uh, my hubby got home from work, decided to take a nap. It's still early because he, you know, he's up at 4.35 o'clock in the morning, so it's not that late in the afternoon. But uh, my mom's not ready to get up. <coughs> so I thought I'd stop and say hi. <laughs> and I had a little tiny bottle of Gloria Vanderbilt's. I don't know what the, what it's called right now. I'll show it in a later video. And uh, I didn't like the way it smelled at all. So I'm right away taking the smells that go away from me and uh -uh, made me feel a little bit. <gasps> <laughs> anyway, um, what can I talk to you about? What do girlfriends talk about when they don't see each other for a while? You know, they kind of pick up where they left off, remember? So, uh, the video I did yesterday, you know, that was a little tiny small uh, bathroom cabinet, so I just did, you know, just to uh, follow along with uh, the gal who was doing the organizing. But actually, last year, around October, I went through all my drawers, lined them. I mean, the kitchen, the bathrooms, the bedrooms, the closets. Uh, my closet, I reorganize about twice a year. And uh, I've tried the colors. I've tried the uh, individual outfits, you know, blouses, skirts, jacket, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I mix them. If I have short sleeve tops, that's where the short sleeve tops are going. If I have short skirts, that's where the short skirts are going. I don't really worry too much about the colors because I found for me personally, when I was looking for something, unless I had, if I had a, a color in mind, uh, well, let me rephrase that. Uh. <laughs> if you have a color in mind that you want to wear, then you know exactly where to go. But if you don't, and you know you just want to wear a skirt, for me it's easy just to go to the skirt section. And then I'll decide what color I want. Does that make sense? Okay. <clears throat> my, my hair is feeling like me. Yeah, oh. Anyway. I'm going to drink some water. Now, <laughs> I called my girlfriend last night, and uh, we were talking a little bit, and I told her my little concern, and she said not to worry, not to worry, not to worry. Everything was going okay. Uh, <laughs> but she started telling me about what had happened to her. <laughs> and so she says, this is what happened. She went someplace, didn't particularly say where, but uh, when she got out, now you know, this might happen to a lot of people, but not to this extent. <laughs> she went out to the parking lot, and at first, you know, she couldn't find her car. And then she saw the white car. So she walked up to the white car. Uh, and put the key in the door, and the door opened. So as she, <laughs> as she opens the door and starts to sit in, she says, boy, this front seat is dirty. My goodness. So as she starts to scoot her butt in and sit down, she notices a cigarette butt burn marks in the passenger seat. She goes, now when did so-and-so have somebody smoking that they burn our seat and instantly she gets <laughs> quote oh shit I'm in the wrong car <laughs> and I am telling you I was laughing and laughing and laughing between my talking and continuing to make videos during this throat thing and uh, which is not going to get me down and laughing so much <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the one that my throat is not, you know, perfect yet. Anyway, she goes on to say, she goes, yeah, she says, I mean, it was a car just like mine. And I'm thinking, how come your keys fit in that car, somebody else's car? And we're both saying, we don't know. She says, but Connie, she says, I was like I said, I got out of that car so fast. I mean, nobody has ever seen an 82-year-old girl get moved that fast out of a city position in a vehicle. <laughs> And so I said, oh, Patty, I've got to tell this story tomorrow, and I'll put an extra spin on it because it just made me laugh so much. <laughs> and she goes, well, she goes, you know, and then to top it off, I'm, I parked right next to a police station. <laughs> oh, my God. And while I'm laughing, she says, and there were two policemen outside. So, of course, I'm laughing. I mean, I'm just belly laughing like I am now just thinking about it. <laughs> Because I imagine her <laughs> sitting in that seat and all of a sudden saying, oh, shit, I'm in the wrong car, and zoom, you know, like a cartoon <laughs> character. Oh, God. Anyway, she's so funny, I'm telling you. <laughs> and then, what else? Oh, I've got another cute story for you. <clears throat> this is storytelling day. I guess. <laughs> My nephew, who I think is about uh, 27, 28, something like that. Now, <clears throat> he's my brother's son. My baby brother, I still call him a baby brother. <clears throat> I was uh, 13 when he was born. And uh, <laughs> his son, obviously, is part Mexican. That's what he always says he is, Mexican. And uh, his mom, beautiful, tall, blonde, is like uh, English, Scottish, Irish, you know, white girl. <laughs> Very successful white girl. And uh, so he always called my nephew himself a Mexican. Now, when I was growing up, my dad was always telling us stories about his heritage. Well, my nephew decided that he was going to go do that uh, saliva test, and then, you know, they can find out your, your ancestry and your history and all that kind of stuff, right? And I don't know, I think it was $39 or something. And uh, so when he told his mom about the results, they said, oh, really? <laughs> well, here was the results. It turned out the results were... Now, I forget if it was 43 or 46 percent uh, European. And in that European, there was uh, Spanish, and it named a particular town or city in Spain. I never heard of a town, and I couldn't tell you what the name of it is right now. I'd have to ask my brother to repeat the story to me. <laughs> And then there was uh, a tad of French, a tad of Italian, and I think some Chinese way back there, which explains my small eyes because I got the same, obviously, DNA. Uh, <laughs> and I have always called myself uh, Spanish because, well, actually, Spanish Mexican because my mom is a Mexican Apache. So I started to say that my dad, when we were growing up, always told us about his heritage and how his father was from Madrid, Spain, and, and you know, my mom would look at him and roll her eyes like, mm-hmm, you know. <laughs> so we didn't know, you know, if it was true or not. And, uh, but I accepted it, you know. I know that my uh, younger sister, who was... Uh, I want to see. I told you, I think, I told you, I think she's uh, already almost 20 years younger than I am, and younger than I am. And uh, growing up, we looked a little different because she had more of my mom's looks with the darker skin and the beautiful Sophia Loren lips and, I think, bigger eyes and very black hair and... Uh, still very tall, 
she still looks pretty tall for, you know, a girl. And uh, Bonnie and I were just, you know, kind of trim and, and uh, fairer complexion, like my dad. <clears throat> so we always accepted that, what my dad said. <laughs> Even though my mom would you know, roll her eyes every time he brought it up. <laughs> so now back to my <laughs> nephew. He says, so dad, all this time I've been calling myself a Mexican and I'm a European Spaniard. <laughs> and my brother starts laughing. He goes, yes, yeah, son, I guess you are. <laughs> so I said to my brother, well, that's what dad always said. And uh, now my dad has a, had a stepdaughter who died when she was a little girl and she was much fairer than my tw twin and I and she had beautiful auburn hair. Well, his first wife had auburn hair. So, uh, not that it has anything to do with the story, <laughs> but that's how my mind works. You know, you know, it goes out and comes back in. <laughs> so, I just thought that was so funny because now he's a European Spaniard. <laughs> and of course his mom says, thank God. <laughs> and I had to laugh at that too, because I know what, you know, I know what she means. Oh gosh, oh, I think she has a couple of brothers, a couple of sisters or something like that, I, I forget now. But, uh, so Casey and my brother are, you know, the only dark people in the family <laughs> on, on my, my brother's side. <laughs> so that's another story I had to share. <laughs> well, my hubby decided to go in the kitchen and uh, I guess make another meal. And uh, my sister called in the meantime, so I'm back, and uh, of course it wouldn't matter to you because, you know, I put everything together here in this video, <laughs> so there's no time lapse for you. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye now and uh, get my mom going, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my story, and uh, I hope that you've got things out there that are making you laugh and making you happy. So take care of yourself, everything, and uh, I'll see you again soon. God willing. Bye-bye.